we want to find the equation of the parabola that passes through these three points. Now, these three points don't line up in a, line up in a straight line, so there's one parabola that passes through all three of them. So we want to find its equation. Let's just say that its equation is going to have this form. y equal ax squared plus bx plus c. So I'll know what the parabola is if I can identify a, b, and c. Well, this ordered pair right here must satisfy this equation if that point is on this graph. So I'll just substitute in these coordinates, x equal negative 2, y equal 2, into this equation, and I'll, I'll, I'll find a relationship between a, b, and c. So let's do that. I'll take this ordered pair right here, substitute it into this equation, and what do I get? y is equal to 2, x is equal to negative 2, so x squared is positive 4, so here I have a times 4, which is 4a. x is negative 2, I'll substitute that in right here, so I have b times negative 2, which is negative 2b, and then plus c. So there's one relationship between a, b, and c. Let's go to this ordered pair right here, and I'll substitute its coordinates into this equation, and we'll end up with y equal 1, and since x is equal to 0 here, I'm going to have 0 times a, which is 0a, 0 times b, which is 0b, and then c. So there's another relationship between a, b, and c that comes from the fact that this ordered pair has to satisfy this equation if the point that that ordered pair represents is on the graph of that equation. Okay, and then let's see. One final one here. I have x equal 1, y equal negative 2.5. Let's substitute that into this equation. And when I do that, I get negative 2.5 for y is equal to, well, x is 1, so 1 squared is 1 times a is 1a. 1 times b is 1b. And then I have c. So what I end up with is a system of equations in three variables. So I have a linear system of equations with three variables that I can solve using some of the methods I have for solving systems. I could use matrices, maybe uh, Kramer's rule. I think this one will be easiest, though, if I just kind of reason it out here, because I've got this equation right here, which says that 1 is equal to c. So right away, I can see that that constant c is equal to 1. That's going to simplify things a lot for me. So let me take c equal 1, put it into this equation, and then write this equation as, let's see, 4a minus 2b is equal to 2 subtract 1, which is going to be equal to 1. Then I'll take c equal 1 substituted into this equation, and what will I get? Let's see, a plus b is equal to negative 2.5, and then this is 1, so I subtract 1 from both sides, negative 3.5. So now, the, here's the relationship between a and b. I've got it down to a system of two equations and two variables. Let's see what we can do with that. I think I'll just leave this one the same. 4a minus 2b is equal to 1. And this one, I'll multiply both sides by what? Let's multiply both sides by 2. So when I do that, I end up with 2a plus 2b is equal to 2 times negative 3.5, negative 7. All right, let's add them up. 4a plus 2a is 6a is equal to 1 plus negative 7 is negative 6. So let's see, I'm not going to run out of room. Right, a is equal to negative 1. So I have a is equal to negative 1, c is equal to 1. I can put these back into any of these equations I want and solve for uh, the last variable. Let's see, let's put a equal negative 1 back into... Let's see, let's go right over here to this equation. So I'm going to have negative 1 plus b is equal to negative 3.5. I'll add 1 to both sides and get b is equal to negative 2.5. So here's my three coefficients. a is equal to negative 1, b is equal to negative 2.5, c is equal to 1. So this equation right here, that is the equation of the parabola that these three points lie on, is going to be y is equal to negative x squared, and then b is negative 2.5x, and then c is equal to 1, plus 1. So there's the equation of the parabola that contains those three points. 
we found that by using all of each of the three points to get the information to write this first system right here, and then we just kind of played it by ear, noticed that c was equal to 1, simplified it down to a system of two equations and two variables, and then used that to solve for a and b.